Guess what? I finally got a chance to do another Trader Joe's haul for you guys. I just had a newborn who's three months old, so we've been living off Trader Joe's like no other. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So they've got seasonal items which are delicious and I can't wait to share with you guys. I love Trader Joe's guys. The pricing is great. The serving size is a bit small, but it's very reasonable and what the amount that you should actually be eating. So I can't complain that much. Well, there's new items that I found that I absolutely love. Me and my husband are constantly buying two, three, or four of these just because we don't want to grocery shop twice in one week. We do kill it off. It's that good. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. So if you're like most Americans who love potatoes, I highly recommend getting their tater tots. They're delicious to add to your breakfast. And if you read the ingredients, they're very transparent and there's zero added sugar. So these are probably the healthiest tater tots that you're gonna find. And I like to bake them. Okay, so if you're new to a vegan lifestyle, I highly recommend trying out their pre-made meals that are vegan, such as a Japanese style of fried rice or even a meat-free diet. They make delicious foods. This is my husband and I's favorite meal from Trader Joe's. It's not exactly your healthiest because it has still has five grams of sugar added. It's your cauliflower version of orange chicken and it's so good and so filling. As we like to eat it a lot, so this might be a whole meal or be a nice side to addition to your meal. Definitely try this out, it's so good. I'm really happy that Trader Joe's started offering dairy-free ice cream. So I've tried a lot of their dairy-free ice cream and they're getting better and better with making it more flavorful. This one is the best one yet, so chocolate. And it tastes like chocolate mousse, just frozen. It's so good and it's made with coconut milk. If you guys are new to Indian food or you absolutely love it, you definitely have to try out their Indian vegetables, samosas. They're so good. They're really like mini samosas and they come about 12 of these, so it's like a nice serving size. There's actually a pumpkin version of this that I'll show you guys as well, but I do like the vegetable version a lot better. So this is delicious. It's like your Asian version of a samosa or just like a Japanese potato batter. It's so good. The sauce I like to use seldomly because it can be overpowering, so it's up to you guys, but I love these. This is your secret ingredient to having grain-free burgers. It tastes absolutely delicious. I'm surprised how well they made it taste like bread. So here is a healthy cooking tip. Instead of cooking with um, olive oil or any oil, I like to start cooking with vegetable broth. Vegetable broth does have a bit more sodium, so I like to decrease the amount of salt that I'm adding, but other than that, it tastes delicious. Oh, and I'm also fine cooking any grains. Instead of adding water to steam it and cook it in, I like to add vegetable broth, which makes, which makes it way more flavorful, guys. You guys should definitely try it. So this is one of my favorite soups by Trader Joe's, my favorite minestrone soup, I think, in general. It's so filling and so hearty. Um, it's great to have at dinner. I love it. If you're like me and an ex-cheese lover and trying to move towards a vegan lifestyle, appreciate these items the most that Trader Joe's makes because it does actually taste very cheesy and just like mac and cheese and just a healthier version and it's so good. Here's a seasonal soup that they make, Harvest Chili. Guys, this is one of the best soups they make, along with the minestrone. It's made with beans, it's so good, so hearty and delicious. My husband finishes it so quickly. Really nice and comforting to have at night and a healthier option. So I appreciate the fact that Trader Joe's is taking recipes and putting a vegan twist on it. This is one of them. It's like a spicy bean chili soup. It's really spicy and hot, which my husband loves. So if you're into that, definitely check this out. Okay, so I've been experimenting with cooking tofu, as you know, in a vegan lifestyle. That's one of your, um, this is a really nice source of protein. So this is one of my favorite types of tofu, tofu to cook with. It's super firm, very easy to make mock chicken dishes. Um, you do have to drain this. Um, I have a whole video on draining and cooking tofu if you want to see. I'll link it below. Okay, so this is one of the best protein patties you can try. It's very similar to a Possible Burger and way better tasting than the Beyond Burger, but with less calories. So Trader Joe's came out with a beef version and a turkey version. They're both vegan. And the beef version does taste a little bit more beefy, but just because I'm just so used to not having beef, I really do prefer having the turkey. My husband and I love grilling this and then adding the cauliflower thin and then adding the vegan cheese slices and it's so good plus spinach and onions throw a little honey mustard on top you guys will love it so good 
So this I discovered recently and I'm so excited for it because I've been using it non-stop with my desserts. It's like whipped cream out of the can but made with real coconut. And guys, there's only one gram of sugar in this. And I love adding this on top of like my cookies or my banana breads or just if I'm craving a little bit more sweet sweetness to it, I add this and it's so good. But definitely check out my other hauls on snacks, cooking, condiments, frozen food, and sweets. Okay, so there's a vegetable version and a pumpkin spice version of these Indian samosas and it's actually really good for pumpkin spice. Done a really good job of including it in Indian samosas, which normally isn't included anyway. It's really good and they're bite sized so it's enough actually for more than one meal. Oh my god guys, this is hands down one of my favorite healthy snacks to eat, especially if you're trying to snack towards the end of the night and you don't want to avoid eating anything unhealthy like sugar. This is so good. I easily kill one whole package in one sitting. I'm not a huge seaweed, per seaweed person to begin with, but because they roast it, they really tame down that seaweed taste. It's very light and I enjoy it a lot. I think you guys should give it a try, especially if you're trying to get into seaweed, but you find it too strong. This is the perfect version. Okay guys, one of the items that we have to constantly restock is vegetable spring rolls. They're so good. Unfortunately, there's only five of these in each box, probably why we have to stock up on them. And sometimes they sell out. You definitely have to try these. They're delicious. My husband loves them. I love them. They're made with healthier ingredients like kale, um, edamame beans. So good. Okay, so this is obviously a non-vegan item because of the cheese, but I was really tempted to try these Brazilian bread balls that everyone's been talking about since it's quarantine. It's been showing up on my stories a lot, and these are really good. They're made with tapioca flour and Parmesan cheese, so I'm not a huge fan of Parmesan cheese to begin with, but it's just enough, the right amount, and they're so good. Trader Joe's makes an awesome version according to my Brazilian friends, so definitely try this out. Okay, me and my favorite snack to munch on when I'm hungry and it's late at night and I'm not trying to eat anything super sweet. These are so good and it's broccoli, guys. They just, I honestly want to know how they make this because it's that good and it's too easy to kill the bag in one sitting. Better than chips, they're so tasty. Okay, so here's another version, crispy okra. Just like the crispy broccoli as well. It's not as tasty as the broccoli, but it's still really, really good. Okra is so good for you guys, as well as broccoli too, but okra is amazing for your brain health, and they just made it even more fun to eat this, like a chips version of it. So Trader Joe's has been coming out with these foosball snacks made with like peanut butter or chocolate hazelnut and dried um, fruits mixed into it, and they're really tasty. My husband kills these nonstop. It's like a nice snack to grab on the go or to eat in between meals. So Trader Joe's is really trying to make our lives a lot easier and healthier by making this coconut oil spray. I used canola for a while just because I couldn't find like an olive oil version or coconut oil version and this is it. This is awesome to use for like pancakes or on the grill or whatever you need to spray oil on. Another delicious item is their honey. This is so good. I easily eat it off a spoon and it's great to add as a sugar substitute in your baked ingredients or if you want to make anything sweeter, especially on top of your almond butter banana toast. Flax seeds and hemp seeds and just throw honey on top and it's so good. It melts in your mouth. Okay guys, this is like your Hershey's milk chocolate version. It's so good and so creamy. It's one of the best vegan chocolates I've had so far. Here is another vegan chocolate. It's more dark chocolate. For my dark chocolate fans, this tastes delicious. I love it. It's healthier too. It only has about four grams of sugar. Oh my God, guys. Once I saw these vegan snickerdoodle cookies, they are so good and so soft. I easily killed the whole box within two days, which is not recommended, but they're so good. You have to try these. They just taste, they taste exactly like snickerdoodles, but a healthier version. So similar to a granola bar, they've made these almond butter cocoa bars and they're so good to grab on the go and fill you up. Especially since I'm nursing a lot, I need to eat a lot more protein, so this definitely helps my lactation supply. Okay, these wafer cookies that Trader Joe's has been coming out with are so yummy. They taste really good. So there's a lemon version that my husband loves that I can't find. It may be a summer seasonal item, but they've come out with Nutella and pumpkin spice. Or sorry, not Nutella, but cocoa. And it tastes so good. It's like creamy chocolate inside. These cookies are so delicious. They're perfect for the fall. They taste like maple syrup with a little bit of like a tea biscuit cookie. So good and so filling. My husband loves these and he cannot stop eating them. So Trader Joe's has two versions of these chocolate almond butter cups. There's 
one that has milk in it, which I've tried and it's creamy and delicious. And this is their vegan version, which is actually just as delicious. It has a little bit more of the almond butter, sunflower saltiness to it, but I still love it. And if you guys enjoyed what you saw today, be sure to check out my other Trader Joe's haul, like my staples. They help me improve to a healthier lifestyle. Even the frozen foods or the meals that they prepare are great ideas for recipes that you can do for yourself at home. Let's see you next. Bye.